ladies and gentlemen the day 2 of global strategic threat and response conference's third session is titled emerging technologies and future warfare this session about emerging technologies and the future warfare will actually focus how the technologies are affecting our daily lives how we are benefiting out of these technologies and when they are applied in the military how they can cause devastation and destruction and how do we find a way forward for that the term emerging technologies in recent years has managed to catch the imagination and attention of today's military professionals as something of a new and exotic term of our times perhaps because exotic technologies like robotics artificial intelligence ai directed energy weapons hypersonic weapons cyber warfare space capabilities drones etc they conjure a vision of a star wars like intergalactic warfare from far away distances wherein a faceless adversary can neither be seen nor pinpointed for possible retribution and retaliation Since the beginning of the 21st century, science and technology has been developing at an increasingly high speed. In the fields of military technology, major breakthroughs have constantly made in strategic technologies, along with important progress in the research and development of disruptive technologies, and remarkably a boost in the operational effectiveness of weapons and equipment. All these have triggered profound changes in operational modes. post ukraine uh there should be a increase in the use of drones uh and a restructuring of the military drone defense capabilities uh and there may be international moves to regulate drone proliferation and address lethal autonomy some of this may come from uh human rights legislation uh where the argument can be made that uh you know you need to have good discrimination or you're violating human rights laws our findings kind of underscore this dual picture so on the one hand um they could paint the picture that significant difficulties are to be expected in the context of arms control because of this negative environment and this alignment of technological development trajectories but on the other hand arms control might seem more attractive when adversaries narrow the competitive gap and we're dealing with peer competitors 